We welcome you to Memphis and AutoZone Liberty Bowl report presented by United Bank. Tony Caridi along with the coach of the Mountaineers, Dana Holgerson. So here we are. It's the day before the showdown against Texas A&M. You just finished up your last press conference and you said it was your best walkthrough of the season. What? You don't do a whole lot on your day before, so what did you like about what they were doing today? Well, we do more than you think we do, to be honest with you. There's, there's, uh, there's, well, I've been starting to do a lot more on the day before. A lot of teams across the country are starting to do more on the, the, the day before. Uh, we went out there, you know, we dressed out, uh, we ran around. I won at full speed. It's obviously non-contact, no helmets, no pads, but we were full speed. We had a lot of bounce in our step, which is a sign that we're ready to play. You've been in a lot of bowl games. What's the biggest deal when it comes to stopping in the regular season and then restarting again, what have you noticed? Well, get, giving them some time off is big, but not enough time off to where you lose your focus, you lose your timing. Uh, we went two weeks of good lifting. Uh, you know, I got the blood pumping a lot, healed, healed up a lot, uh, got back to work, went through a whole uh, week of practice to be able to get us ready for this game. And then we gave them about four or five days off. Let them go home, uh, see their friends, see their family. Uh, you know, and then and then wake up on Christmas morning uh, and say goodbye to all that and come to the bowl site. The thing about being at a bowl game is, is the team that's the most excited team to play, the most excited team to be here is the team that typically wins. Uh, our guys are pretty fired up about being here right now. So I have, we've been here four days, not too long, just about right, ready to wake up and, and play the game. You had a strong statement about Skylar Howard. You've coached a lot of kids, and you said during your press conference that you've never had a kid who wants to win as badly and prepare as much as him. Talk a little bit about that. What does that do for you as a coach? Well, it just it means a lot to him, so he demands perfection out of himself. And there's a lot of guys that want to be good. There's a lot of guys that have the work ethic to be good, that possess the physical and mental tools to be able to be good. Uh, it means so much to him. He's so hard on himself when he's not successful. It kind of hurts him a little bit. Uh, so by being able to get all these reps and having some success, uh, he's gained some confidence in himself, and his teammates have gained confidence in him, which has allowed him to get better and better. Final thought from you. What's the absolute must that you have to do to win this game? I've been talking about turnovers, Tony. I mean, we've been talking about it all year. We've done some things different in practice. It's about hanging onto the ball, make, making sure that we play smart uh, and, and, and do a good job with turnovers, get turnovers on defense. Texas A&M's had some problems with yeah. this as well. Uh, so it's a pretty evenly matched uh, uh, game with uh, two teams that are pretty similar. Uh, need to be excited to play and need to take care of the football. Wish you the best. Thank you. Along with Dana Holgerson, I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been an AutoZone Liberty Bowl report presented by United Bank.